Hello friends, so today we are going to talk about much interesting topic and this is one of my favorites that is evolution. So this topic I studied in my college from throughout the semester and this is one of my most interesting topics ever and to remind. So today that is the topic evolution. So isn't it interesting to know how earth is evolved and how the organisms in earth, the living beings, we humans. So we humans see ourselves in this modern world as with full of technologies. WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. But have you ever imagined how did we even originate? How did we even evolve? And how did the earth even evolve? And that is this uh, chapter. And this chapter is going to be much interesting chapter. And we will move this chapter in a much lively manner. Yes, so the topic for the day is evolution. So in this session, we will learn about the different theories of evolution. So th there were many researchers who, who proposed many ideas and their theories on how this earth was evolved and how human beings were evolved. More than human beings, how a primitive life, living organisms were evolved. So that is the topic. We'll move on to the topic. So first is the age and this is a short interruptory note. Age of solar system. Age of solar Sorry. system is 4.5 to 4.6 billion of years, right? And then the Earth. So Earth is one of the planets in solar system, and the age of Earth is believed around 100 million years, right? And now after the Earth has been formed, there were many theories, there were many researchers. I mean, after the earth were formed, there was nothing in the earth except the earth was much hotter than anybody could ever imagine. So after we human beings are evolved and many researchers, they propose their own theories on how this earth could have evolved. The first living organism in earth would have evolved. So that is what we will see one by one. And the first thing is theory of special creation and this is uh, the universal theory where everybody has their own religious belief so for example if it is a Hindu they believe that Lord Brahma has created the earth and he put all living uh, beings into the earth and that's how we all have uh, been origin but in Christianity also they believe that it took seven days for uh, Jesus to create the supernatural power to create um, the earth and if it is Jainism or Islam or Zoroastrianism, whatever the religion might be, everybody has their own belief that God has created earth and the living organisms in earth. So this is the first theory which is the theory of special creation. And next is theory of spontaneous generation. What do we mean by spontaneous? All of a sudden something has evolved. So that is spontaneous generation and this theory says that there is a living organism which has origin from a non-living organism which has origin from nothing suddenly a living organism has been popped out from earth so that is called as theory of spontaneous generation and we Thomas Huxley he called this theory of spontaneous generation as abiogenesis so usually biogenesis is the formation of a new life from the pre-existing life. So already there is a life and through which the another life has been uh, formed. So that is biogenesis but this is the ultimate uh, opposite of uh, biogenesis. So this theory is also called as theory of abiogenesis. Next big bang theory and this theory is one such uh, famous theory big bang bang which means there has been a, a consecutive process the earth has undergone to make its own living things so it is believed that when the earth was origin it was totally hot and then what has happened so for example a condensation has happened for example uh, we take a hot pack and I pack something really hot and I close it. Now what happens after half an hour, some 10 to 30 minutes when I open it, the lid will have the water droplet on it. So which means that the food has liberated the hydrogen and the oxygen atoms from it, right? And that is the theory of, that is Big Bang Theory. So this is how it is believed that 
earth started becoming cool and rain started pouring and that's how oceans were formed and what ultimately this hydrogen oxygen mixed with the water and the other molecules were formed so now these molecules gave rise to and with these molecules with the help of uv radiation from sun gave rise to a smallest cell or the pre cell and that they called it as coazovates so it is believed that only from coazovates many other cells were being formed right from the primitive uh, unicellular then multicellular and then all the animals bat uh, birds blah 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 okay so this is the theory of Uh, yes, this is Big Bang theory. And next is theory of biogenesis, and this is the wise word so of theory of spontaneous generation, where this theory believes that there was eventually a living organism been formed, and from this living organism, another living organism is also formed. So that is theory of biogenesis. Next theory of chemical evolution, and this evolution, this theory is almost similar to Big Bang theory, which says that. many chemical molecules were formed and these chemical molecules combined together to form another new molecule and this molecule gave rise to earth so earth was origin not in a biological manner rather a chemical manner so this session we spoke about uh, an introduction to evolution and the different theories of evolution